What's up guys and welcome back to Soft Final Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 5 is here and no, it's not just Call of Duty Warzone Season 5 that is absolutely completely fucking broken. It is also Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 5 as well. I mean, they play in the exact same genre, they're basically the exact same game. One is just multiplayer, full multiplayer, and one is a battle royale. Now a lot of people are having problems with FPS and a lot of people are having problems with the game crashing, all these beautiful things. And as we all know, every time a new season comes out, then the game is more fucked than what it's ever been before. And unfortunately, season 5 is probably the worst season I've ever seen so far for Call of Duty in general. I mean, I've seen really bad things in season 1, 2, 3 and 4, but season 5 just takes the cake. And um, today I'm going to be talking about how to get your game to be running much, much smoother and much, much better for Season 5 right now at this very moment. And the steps that you can take to make the game run much, much better. Alright, so the first thing that I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to the Start button over here. Or you can just go to the Search button over here and type in Settings, just like this, and press Enter. Go to Update and Security and make sure your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. One important note is this. If you see it says download and install, I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. I'm, I will do this after this video. But I highly recommend, I just wanted to show you guys, I highly recommend installing this. Please do go ahead and install it and have it installed. And then always just go check for updates. I don't know, maybe every time you go on your PC before you play the game, I highly recommend you go ahead and check that your Windows is up to date. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to go back to the home button and you're going to go to gaming over here and you're going to go to gaming mode. Now, for a lot of people out there, this actually works and makes the game run a little bit better or it makes the game run a little bit worse. So it depends on the machine that you're running. It depends on if you're running on a laptop, if you're running on a gaming machine, a desktop machine, a dedicated graphics card. It all depends on the machine that you're currently running. Now, for me, if I turn this on, I get no FPS increase. Nothing really happens with my game. So I keep this off. So it's your own personal preference, depending on the machine that you're running. Next step you're going to need to do is go to the home button over here and you're going to go to privacy and you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to look for a thing where it says background apps. Now I highly recommend if your thing is on like this, all of these things are going to be running in the background and you don't need these things to be running in the background at all. You really, really don't need all of these things to be running in the background. So all you need to do is just switch them off. You can switch them off individually, depending on what you want to switch off over here and what you don't use. But I highly recommend just switching it off over here and then leaving it off completely. Once you're done with that, next thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in device manager, just like this, and open up device manager and then go to display adapters. I highly recommend going to your dedicated graphics card that you have inside your machine and then right click on it and go to update drivers. So search automatically for drivers and it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed. Now I'm an NVIDIA user. If you're on a video and a video user like me, if you are on a video user like me, then I highly recommend you go ahead and do it like this. If you have this over here, which is GeForce experience, I highly recommend having this on your machine. It's very, very crucial for your machine to have this on your PC. So you just open this up and then from here you can actually check for your updates on your graphics card drivers. Do not play your games through here. If you are one of those people that play your games through here and your games run well, then it's up to you. It's your own personal preference. I play my games through my applications, not through this app. So I go to drivers like this and I go to check for updates and let me know if I have the latest drivers installed. Okay, so I do have the latest drivers installed and then that's pretty much why I have GeForce experience on my machine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next step you're going to need to do is right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel, just like this, open up your NVIDIA control panel, and then you're going to go from here, you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview, and then I highly recommend you change it to use the advanced 3D image settings, and then it's going to say over here, take me there, which is basically going to take you over here. So we are going to go to global settings. Do not go to program settings and select a certain game, like for instance, Modern Warfare, go to the global settings and then change it to all of these things that I have over here that I have been set. So you could just pause the video over here and then just copy all of these settings that I have right here and you should be good to go for Modern Warfare Season 5 multiplayer. 
all of these over here, you should be good to go. I highly recommend putting this on your graphics card, prefer maximum performance, put this on quality, and then also put this on one and make sure this is off and make sure that is off as well. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to config and surround physics and make sure that you have your graphics card selected, not auto select, not CPU, you have your graphics card selected. Once you select your graphics card like this, I'm just going to change it like this. So auto select to my graphics card, you say apply, and it's going to apply the settings for your machine. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me jump straight into the game. Let me show you the best settings that you can be using right now for Modern Warfare Season 5 multiplayer. Now, something I just want to put out a note for people um, that a lot of people don't know is that um, Call of Duty is just in general right now very, very broken. So <laughs> I can only do this much to help people out there, but they keep bringing out small little updates to make the game run a little bit smoother. Um, that's on their side. Unfortunately, I'm not a COD developer. If I was, the game would have been much, much better and it would have run much, much stable because I would have taken care of these problems. But unfortunately, they don't take care of these problems. So there's like little hoops that we need to jump through to be able to run our games perfectly fine. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me jump straight into the game and let me show you what settings you should be using and let me also show you what FPS I'm doing while I'm in the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into that and let me show you what you need to do next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in Call of Duty Modern Warfare right now, the multiplayer version, and as you can see, I'm doing about 160 FPS. Now, obviously, you're going to be doing much more FPS if you do this. Right, you're going to be climbing FPS. I mean, there it goes over 200. So I highly recommend just clicking on multiplayer, come into the game, and look at your frames that you're currently doing. I'm doing about 162. You're going to go to options up here. You're going to go to graphics, go to display, put this at full screen, put this at your native monitor or your display that you're currently running, and then this over here, your dedicated graphics card. This, the refresh rate of your monitor. This, the resolution of your monitor or your display. I highly recommend putting this on disable and then put this at 10. This on automatic, depending on what type of monitor you're running. If you're running a wide screen, ultra wide, I do highly recommend just putting on an automatic and automatic, it will pick up what type of monitor you're currently running. V-Sync, it's just there for screen tearing. If you are getting screen tearing, a lot of people are talking about you, you get less input latency if you put this on. Now, if you do get less input latency, if you put this on, Okay, then go ahead and put it on. Okay, now for me, if I disable this, I don't get input latency at all. I don't get screen tearing or anything like that with the machine I am currently running. The monitors I'm running, the display I'm running, and my whole setup entirely. So I disable this and it also uncaps my FPS. Custom frame rate limit, unlimited. Put this at 60 so you can actually see the Modern Warfare symbol. This on 2.2, this on disable, this on disable, and you're going to apply these settings. You're going to go to quality over here. This is your own personal preference, your field of view. I highly recommend it's your own personal preference. Change it to whatever you want it to be changed to, and then go to over here and put it on affected. All right? This you're going to put at least Render resolution, 100%, leave it at 100%. Don't play around with it. Streaming quality, low. Texture resolution, normal. Tester filter anastropic, normal. Particle quality, low. Bullock impacts and spray, enable it. Tessellation, right now at this very moment for multiplayer, keep it at all. This one, you obviously, it's just go effects. It doesn't do anything with your FPS. It doesn't increase it. It doesn't decrease it if you change these two things. So just leave it on enable. This one, you on demand test the streaming. I highly recommend disabling this. This, Filmic Strength, you are going to put at 1.00. If you have NVIDIA DLSS and you are a NVIDIA DLSS user like me, you're going to put it on Ultra Performance, put this at 1.00, put this at 00. If you change this and you do not have NVIDIA DLSS, there's a lot of people that don't have NVIDIA DLSS, then I highly recommend playing at T2 times, or you're going to put it at T2 times SMAA, or you can play around with these two things, or like basically you play around with them, right? So either this, depending on how much FPS you're going to get out of this, depending on how much you're going to get out of this, and depending on how much you're going to get out of this. This is the best you can go to, to get really good quality of the game. But like I said before, then if you have this enabled, you're going to put this all the way down, okay? If you use NVIDIA DLSS, put it on Ultra Performance,
all the way up to 1.00 and leave it like this. Depth of field disabled, world motion blur disabled, weapon motion blur disabled. You do not need these things on. I highly recommend you go ahead and put all three of them off. Shadow map resolution at low, or you could put it at normal. You could just leave it at normal. It should be fine. It won't do anything with your FPS. This is highly debatable over the whole internet. Literally, it's very debatable on these two settings of here. So you can go ahead and change it to what you want it to be. If you want it to be enabled or disabled, these two things, it's your own personal preference. Particle lighting, you keep this at normal. DirectX ray tracing, disable this. It's not a single player game, it's a multiplayer game. Disable it if you want more frames out of your game. Ambient occlusion, you're going to put this at both. And then screen space reflections, SSR, disable these settings, all right? Go to apply. Once you are done with that, you can go back and you can watch your FPS climb. Now I get about almost 200 exactly while I'm playing the game. Sometimes it goes over 200, 210, 215, all the way up to 220 while I'm playing the game. And the game looks absolutely beautiful with these settings that I'm running right now for Modern Warfare multiplayer. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to channel if you're new year. And as always, peace out.